Hello and welcome to a new series I'm going to be tentatively calling Building with Dirtle. In today's episode, I've got two buildings planned that are going to be part of a bigger project to revamp the entire village we're living in. But before we start building, we've got to collect a bunch of resources, including the Heart of the Sea, so we can use Light Matica. Now the builds I'm going to be making, I've designed and created first, and Light Matica will make it really easy to translate them over to survival. There it is. Alright, we got our treasure map. I'm getting out of here. Wow. This is a very odd buried treasure. I've never seen one out in the middle of the ocean like this. There it is. It's our heart of the sea. So now that we have our heart of the sea, I have the schematic placed. I'm not going to spoil too much. We do have some materials to collect, specifically dark oak. So I'm going to go on a bit of a journey to get some. We have a friend here that I really don't want to talk to. Bye. Look at that. That's so cool. This is definitely one of those areas you screenshot the coordinates of. Here we are. We should be coming up on the dark oak forest any moment. There it is. Perfect. So I'm going to grab a bunch of this wood. Tons of leaves. Tons of uh, saplings. And we'll start headed home. The near... 6,000 block journey home. So this should be everything I need for the build. So I'll throw it to a time lapse. There it is. We've got our first finished building. Now, when I was uh, building stuff up and testing stuff in uh, Creative, this was the first one I built and I really liked it. But there's still some more stuff I want to add, like just little bits of decoration out here and around the sides. Uh, but there's a few things I didn't like about this building at first. And like, it's a nice building. I love it. It's really cozy. It fits the whole theme I want to go for. You've got a nice little desk uh, of thing here. I'm going to add a lamp later. I just need a end rod for it. Um, down here, so there were some villagers that were in this house originally that I've trapped down below. That's why you hear them mumbling. And I'm going to make a villager breeder below it. But uh, I think I forgot a lantern in here. So I'll just do a torch for now. Uh, you got an upstairs area with another storage. Later there's going to be some bookshelves here. I just don't have the resources for it. You got a nice little balcony. So, one of the things 
I didn't like was how kind of symmetrical and square it was. And it's not like completely square. Ooh, what are you doing now? It's not completely square. Let's go sleep real quick. But, uh, it's one of the things I didn't like about it. But the other, and you probably saw it in the time lapse, was the roof. The roof is really bland and it's not the best looking. So in the second build, which we'll work on here in a moment after I collect, again, more resources, it looks so much better and I'm, I'm much happier with it. My way of uh, improving my build is I'm going to look at what I did just last time and say, here's one thing I want to improve on. So I have a really cool building plan for right here. I think you all are going to love it. And we're going to get to collecting resources now. After a uh, long while later, We've got all the resources we'll need. I've got them in a double chest down below. And we have our next schematic area placed. So this time, I went and <laughs> made sure I had everything first. Because there was a lot of moments where, like, oh, I didn't have the glass. I didn't have the clay for the pots. So I've just got my materials list and I've collected exactly what I'll need. So it should be a very smooth time lapse this time. And I'm going to try doing it layer by layer instead of bits and pieces at a time. Because it looked a bit odd the other time lapse so i'm gonna start by clearing everything out tearing up the ground and building it layer by layer So I have the pleasure of giving you all a grand tour of our brand new building. So we got what I'd consider the front of the building. Got a 
front side window and a little balcony up top, as well as a in little insignia thing. We walk inside and we have a ground floor's tailor shop, of course. I don't have any armor to put on these guys yet, but we'll definitely get them kitted up. We can then follow the staircase upstairs, it's very narrow and windy, with this cozy little living floor. The uh, oak planks, they're supposed to be bookshelves, of course we don't have that many books yet, but when we do get it, we will replace it. So we've got a little sink and a kitchen area. We've got our main bedroom with the balcony. It's a very nice lookout. You can jump from here to up there, which I think is fun to do. You can follow the staircase up to the very top loft. We've got a tiny little bed, a nice window out, and some more storage. So I'm very happy with this build and how it turned out on the interior. And I just built as I felt. And I didn't really bother, like, polishing the interior before I bothered building anything. I kind of just started. And uh, it turned out really nice. I'm extremely happy with it. There are some things that uh, aren't my favorite. Things that I think could look better. Like, I think this wall gets kind of flat. And this is a little awkward. But I still think it looks better than it would otherwise. Um, I kind of didn't know what to do here. Whether to keep this or not. Uh, but there's just some spots where it's like, it's very flat. I think I forgot some stuff here. But there's still some areas to improve on. But uh, I definitely like this building a lot more. As you might have seen in the time lapse, the roof is absolutely beautiful. It's probably one of my favorite parts of this. But let's go sleep in the loft. And with that, I think we're going to call it a day. It's been a wonderful episode. And I thank you all for joining me today. If you enjoyed it, uh, a like is greatly appreciated, and also any feedback I would love to hear. This is my first thing ever ever making something like this, and uh, I really enjoyed doing it. And I, I would love to see what people thought of it, what they think I could do better, and uh, what you might want to see in the future. So, so thank you all for watching, and uh, if you made it this far, leave a comment, and... Uh, Put two periods at the end, and that way I'll know you made it this far. So, thank you all, and uh, have a nice one.